be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to flip samples in Splice and make them sound like your own original sample. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and start with a software instrument track. And under instrument, we're going to go to quick sampler and that's about midway down. So we'll create this quick sampler track. This is a quick sampler. We could drag and drop samples right in here in this area. Um, and then basically, I'll just open up Splice. You have to get an account and download this to your desktop, man. It's going to save you a whole lot of time. And uh, pretty much this is how it looks once you get Splice. You're going to get some credits right here. And you can come over here and you can search by genre, instrument, a lot of different areas or, you know, options. I'm actually going to go with genre first. And we're going to go like trap. Um, after you do trap, you can say, all right, what do you want? You can do it by key or whatever. I'm going to click on melody right here. And the type of sample I want is actually a loop. So I'm going to click that. And after this loads up, we're going to find a sample and flip it and make it our own. So let's just go ahead and go through some of these. So basically what you want to look for is something that you could just grab different pieces out of. Um, I actually like this little brass woodwinds type sample here. I'm just going to take it. I actually, I already went ahead and clicked on it. So this is actually in my library. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just drag and drop this in here. So when it comes to these flipping samples, I would actually go over here and click on splice or excuse me, not splice, but slice. And I can come over here. I could do it manually, like chopping this up manually, or we can use some of this, like the sensitivity. And I can go by transient, um, equal divisions, beat divisions. There's a whole lot of other options here. But um, basically I have this key, uh, my, my MIDI keyboard here. I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to, you know, start playing around with this. And I can come over here and delete these by this, you know, right clicking.
and you just want to keep on playing around with these until you find something that inspires you. I actually like this right here. And so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just go ahead and take this at maybe like 130. And I'm just going to play it over and over again. So I usually start off with something like that, and then we could double this by pushing Command D, and then I can mess around with adding some other different uh, layers. So you have to take some time sometimes, you know, it's not always about doing it real quick. Um, you know, you want to take some time and just lay down several different tracks like this. So let's, let's do this. So we got that one. Let's quantize it. as you saw you, you want to move some of these little points around just to make sure it's not sounding too choppy um, after you do that you can just take this and we can like um, highlight it and then right click and bounce in place and what this is going to do is now create you know um, basically another um, wave file so now this has basically both of these as a wave file <laughs> What you can do with this as well is resample it. If you take it and just drag it into this gray area, you can put it in a quick sampler. And then I could like reverse this as well. So let's just see how it sounds reversed. And you can pitch it down some. actually make sure we turn it yeah follow tempo cool Back. so now we have this new sample we just chopped it up reversed it and um it's pretty lit you know what i'm saying you could uh, add effects to this it's a free plugin by Isotope called Vinyl. You can grab that, throw that on it. I like it for the warp aspect of things.
So now you have this brand new sample here. And now <clears throat> let's listen to the original and just see how different this is actually. I'm just gonna push uh, Command D, double that up. Open this back up, we'll put it in classic mode. This is the original sample, all right? That's what the original sample sounds like, and then this is what we just did. completely sounds different now just to kind of demonstrate how this could actually work here I'm just gonna add like an 808 to this I actually have some 808s already saved in here if you're brand new to logic and using the quick sampler you can go to this factory default part right here and once you drag and drop samples in you can save it right here and then pull them up under here or just load it so I have this 808 here I'm just gonna play a little 808 pattern So we got that. Let me go ahead and hit this right here, quantize. Now we also put like a little quick hi-hat pattern in here. I can play it or I can come over here to the step sequencer. To a full fledged beat, so let me go here. We'll do this clap trap, uh, this, this clap sound. Right here, let me come over to the synthesizer right here. Maybe add some type of bell. Sometimes I just only quantize the first note. Quantitize, whatever it is, quantize.
option, drag this down. That makes a copy of it. You can take this, push shift option and the up arrow. And then I'll make a height, you know, take it up a high octave higher, turn it down some. Anyway, so that's pretty much uh, the tutorial for the day. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to mix this. I mean, obviously, you know, we needed to mix it, peaking and everything like that. But as far as cooking this up and, you know, you know, flipping a, uh, a sample of a splice, like literally this doesn't sound too much into anything like the original sample. Um, it started off with just, you know, chopping this up. And now we got a full-fledged beat. That's pretty much original. I mean, you know, um, first of all, the samples on Splice are already like royalty free. But, you know, when you flip it like this, it's, it's for sure like, you know, for the most part going to become your own, um, you know, composition at this point. So, yeah, make sure you get subscribed, man. We're coming back to back with videos. Thank you for watching. Also, go to my site, beatmakingbases.com. Uh, we have courses on there you can grab, uh, drum kits, loop packs. Also, I do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom service. So, like, if you, you know, need one-on-one -on -one help, make sure you go to the site there or click the links below, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, man, outside of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.